Today on Magical Meltdown, we're going to be talking about Dark Magic Circle and Magician's Navigation, and how if Konami errata's them, they'll be better. Let's start with Circle. When this card is activated, look at the top three cards of your deck. Then you can reveal one Dark Magician or one Spell or Trap card that specifically lists the card Dark Magician among them and add it to your hand. Also, place the remaining cards on top of your deck in any order. If Dark Magician is normal or special summoned to your field, except during the damage step, you can target one card your opponent controls, banish it. You can only use each effect of Dark Magical Circle once per turn. As it reads, it's not too shabby. Top three cards of your deck, if it's a Dark Magician or a Spell or Trap that specifically lists Dark Magician among its text, great. Add one of those to hand, place the remaining in any order you choose. Or, if you're not going to do any searching within the next turn, awesome, you know your next three plays. However, this card suffers from what Eternal Soul suffered with, and that's specifically listing Dark Magician as one of the only targets when it comes to a monster. With Eternal Soul, it was the protection effect, only being able to protect just Dark Magician. With this card, it's only able to pick Dark Magician in terms of monsters. This just simply won't do. How we're going to errata this is just the same as Eternal Soul. Instead of just being Dark Magician, also adding in monsters. You can reveal one Dark Magician or Dark Magician monster, which is a very easy change. That way, we can get cards like Dark Magician Girl and Dark Magician of Chaos. But why stop there? Why not do, you can reveal one Dark Magician, Dark Magician monster, or monster that specifically lists Dark Magician among its text. That way, you get cards like Magician of Dark Illusion and Magician's Rod, as potential targets for Circle. The second half of that first effect regarding spells and traps also needs to be changed. Most of the spells and traps that specifically list Dark Magician, awesome, except for one. Eye of Tamias lists Dark Magician among its text, but it's not specifically Dark Magician. The difference between specifically and not specifically is specifically says they can only be this monster in terms of how it is laid out and only this monster. Whereas if it's just among its text, it can basically be anywhere or just be in there and then grouped with other things. So I have Tamias says Dark Magician monsters versus what this card says and is specifically Dark Magician. That means I have Tamias cannot be searched by Circle or it cannot be searched by Rod. That's a problem when you have a very powerful fusion monster, Dark Magician the Dragon Knight, that protects Eternal Soul, which in turn protects Dark Magician the Dragon Knight because it's treated as Dark Magician. How do we fix this? Instead of it being a spell or trap card that specifically lists Dark Magician among its text, change it so it's a spell or trap card that lists Dark Magician among its text. That way, it's still specific enough to just Dark Magician spell and trap cards. However, it'll also allow viability for Eye of Tamias or any other card that has Dark Magician monsters in place of Dark Magician. Also, the second effect of when Dark Magician is normal special summon, target banish one of your opponent's monsters, that shouldn't be once per turn. That should be every time Dark Magician is summoned. Just revolving door effect. I'm not sorry. The second card we're going to be looking at today is Magician's Navigation. Special summon one Dark Magician from your hand, then special summon one level 7 lower Dark Spellcaster type monster from your deck. If you control Dark Magician, except the turn that this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one face-up spell or trap card your opponent controls. It has its effect negated until the end of this turn. Initially, it's not too bad. You get two free summons out of it, basically, and it's a one-turn negation, provided Dark Magician is on the field. The negation part is awesome, but the having to have Dark Magician on the field is not awesome, because many times you're going to summon Dark Magician and then just level it off into something. In a lot of cases, you're going to have Dark Magician on the field, then tribute it because you activated a spell card, get Rod from the graveyard, and add it to the hand. So you might not have a Dark Magician on the field. And if you don't have have eternal soul set or some other means of summoning your sol i think eroding this to not have the clause of when dark magician is based on your side of the field it would drastically help this card specifically and i'm not saying to do that because like oh i want more power this would allow more viability with the dark magician deck because now 
one of our summoning cards is also effectively a hand trap. It would allow a one-time negation. And it's not like Dark Magician has much in terms of banish recovery, at least not support from the actual archetype itself. So it's not, it wouldn't be overpowered. Other cards can already stop it. Another thing with navigation is the level seven or lower spellcaster handicap. It shouldn't be level seven or lower. It should either be level eight or lower, so Dark Magician of Chaos has viability, or it should just be Dark Spellcaster, period. That way you can play Dark Magician of Chaos. That way you can play other level eight or higher Dark Spellcaster type monsters that are not specific summoning conditions one, like a ritual monster, for example. We talked about three cards so far, Eternal Soul, Dark Magical Circle, Magician's Navigation. Are these three cards gonna save the Dark Magician archetype? Gods, no. But will they help? Definitely. Next time on Magical Meltdowns, we're gonna be talking about Magician's Rod and Magician's Rogue and how they can be eroded to synergize with our Magical Meltdown versions of the previously discussed cards. Guys, if you didn't like this video, you know where their button is. But if you did like this video, smash that like button. If you're new here and you like this content, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you always know when we have a video out. And if you want to support the channel financially, we do have a Patreon. Links down in the description. You don't have to support us, but every dollar helps to allow us to do the fun things that we do here at Why Go Bros TCG. And remember, it's time to duel.